The Tholian slaver screamed as Alexander snapped its neck, splashing the human super-soldier's face with the alien's warm blood. He didn't care. They had taken Ilara. They would all die. Alexander Murray, a battle-hardened 35-year-old human super-soldier, stealthily infiltrated the dimly-lit Tholian military outpost on the icy moon of Jalux Prime. His augmented strength and advanced weaponry made short work of the guards. He was here to retrieve a stolen prototype weapon that could turn the tide of the war. But as he fought, his mind drifted to his girlfriend, Dr. Ilara Voss. Ilara was a brilliant xenobiologist, currently stationed on the human colony world of Arcadia. Her groundbreaking research on Tholian physiology and weaknesses made her a high-value target. And at that very moment, a merciless Tholian strike team stormed her facility and took her hostage. The colony's defences crumbled under the onslaught. Commander Izar coldly informed Ilara that she would be taken for questioning as he oversaw her capture himself. The Tholians would torture her for the secrets in her mind. Alexander's blood ran cold when he got the news. He vowed to save her and rain fury on the Tholians, because he knew if they broke her, if they extracted those secrets, the human race was doomed. Alexander sped towards the Tholian sector, his ship's engines roaring at maximum thrust. As the stars blurred past his viewscreen, his mind raced, calculating every possible way to rescue Ilara from those alien bastards. Suddenly his calm panel blinked with an incoming transmission on a secure channel. Alexander frowned but answered, Murray here, speak. Alexander, it's Zane Malik. The voice was hushed and urgent. I have intel on Dr. Voss's location. Alexander's pulse quickened. Zane was their man on the inside, a spy who had managed to infiltrate Tholian ranks. Tell me. She's being held at a secret underwater prison on Hydro 7. They're interrogating her there. You need to hurry. I don't know how long she can hold out. Alexander gritted his teeth, fury and fear warring inside him. Understood. Murray out. He input the coordinates for Hydro 7 and gunned the engine. Hold on, Alara, I'm coming. As his ship dropped out of warp on the outskirts of the Hydro system, alarms blared. His sensors had picked up multiple Tholian patrol ships closing in fast. Shit, Alexander growled. He was outnumbered and outgunned. The Tholian ships opened fire, lances of plasma searing past his hull. Alexander wrenched the controls, sending his ship into a dizzying spiral to avoid the barrage. His fingers flew over the console as he diverted power to shields and weapons. He couldn't win this fight, but maybe he could outfly them. Alexander spotted the dense asteroid field ringing Hydra 7 up ahead. A crazy, desperate idea formed. Gripping the controls, he plunged into the field. The Tholian ships followed, their weapons still blazing. Alexander pushed his piloting skills to the limit, weaving and rolling through the treacherous rocks. Her Tholian ship miscalculated and slammed into an asteroid, exploding in a plume of flame. Two more crashed and burned as Alexander led them on a deadly chase. But his own luck couldn't hold out forever. A chunk of space rock slammed into his rear hull, sending sparks flying in the cockpit. Alarms shrieked, red lights flashed. He was losing power losing control. The blue oceans of Hydro 7 filled his view screen as he hurtled into the atmosphere. This was going to be a rough landing. Alexander gripped the armrests as his crippled ship knifed into the churning waves. The impact jolted his bones. Water sluiced into the cracked hull, cold and dark. He had to move fast. Kicking out the damaged cockpit window, Alexander swam through the sinking wreckage of his ship to the cargo hold. He snatched up his prepared infiltration kit, a sealed underwater maneuvering suit and a plasma rifle. As he suited up, his comm panel flickered with one last message from Malik. Alexander, they suspect Molin ranks. You must hurry. Voss and I, danger. The signal cut out. Alexander's jaw clenched. He had no idea how much time Ilara or Zane had left. Sealing his helmet, plasma rifle magnetized to his back, Alexander dove into the heaving alien ocean. Powerful kicks of his fins propelled him down into the abyss, 
towards the hidden base where Elara was suffering, towards the monsters who had taken her. They would pay, Alexander vowed as he knifed through the water. Every last one of them would pay. The cold depths of Hydros Seven's alien oceans enveloped Alexander as he propelled himself through the water with powerful kicks, his enhanced underwater suit slicing through the murky currents. As he swam, his augmented senses detected a complex network of sonar arrays and defense systems guarding the submerged Tholian prison. Alexander adjusted his course, utilizing the suit's advanced stealth features to evade detection, slipping past the intricate web of sensors like a ghost. Breaching the outer perimeter, Alexander infiltrated the heavily fortified underwater complex. The sight that greeted him within its depths filled him with revulsion and fury. Glass tanks lined the walls, each containing twisted, mutated creatures. The results of the Tholians' brutal experiments on various alien species. Alexander's eyes widened as he realized the horrifying truth. The Tholians had been using Elara's research to engineer targeted biological weapons, designed to exterminate entire races with ruthless efficiency. Anger surged through his veins. He couldn't let this continue. Moving swiftly through the complex, Alexander began to sabotage critical systems, overloading power cores, destroying research data, and unleashing the captive abominations to wreak havoc among their creators. Alarms blared and Tholian soldiers swarmed the corridors, but Alexander met them head-on, his plasma rifle flaring as he cut through their ranks with deadly precision. But the Tholians had one last line of defense. As Alexander fought his way towards the high security wing where Alara was imprisoned, a massive, cybernetically enhanced Tholian monstrosity emerged from the shadows. Standing three times Alexander's height, the creature lunged at him with a roar that shook the very walls of the complex. Alexander gritted his teeth and stood his ground. Dodging a swipe of the beast's razor-sharp claws, he unleashed a barrage of plasma bolts into its armored hide. The creature howled in pain, but kept coming, its mechanical limbs whirring as it closed in for the kill. In a split-second decision, Alexander holstered his rifle and drew the prototype weapon he had stolen from the Tholians in the first plot point, a gleaming silver device that hummed with barely contained power. Aiming it squarely at the creature's chest, he pulled the trigger. A blinding beam of energy erupted from the weapon's muzzle, slamming into the Tholian beast with the force of a small supernova. The monstrosity convulsed as the beam tore through its flesh and circuitry, its agonized screeches echoing through the complex. With a final shudder, it collapsed to the floor, smoke rising from its charred remains. Alexander lowered the weapon, breathing hard. The path to Elara was clear. He raced through the shattered remains of the security door, his heart pounding as he neared her cell. Only to find it empty. Signs of a struggle were everywhere, overturned furniture, scorch marks on the walls, and on a flickering screen, the sneering face of Commander Izar. You're too late, human, Izar hissed. Did you really think I wouldn't anticipate your arrival? Dr. Voss is no longer here. If you want her, come and get her. Face me in the skies above Hydros Seven aboard my flagship. There, we will settle this once and for all. The screen went dark. Alexander slammed his fist against the wall, his mind reeling. Izar had played him, used Ilara as bait to lure him into a trap. But trap or no trap, he had no choice. He had to save her. Fury and determination burned in Alexander's eyes as he fought his way out of the crumbling underwater prison, alarms blaring and Tholian reinforcements closing in. He blasted through the complex's docking bay doors and commandeered a Tholian spacecraft, its alien controls glowing beneath his fingers. As he rocketed away from the collapsing prison, breaching the surface of Hydros Seven's oceans in a plume of spray, Alexander set his sights on the looming shape of Izar's flagship high above. The final battle awaited him in the cold void of space, a battle that would decide not only Alara's fate, but the fate of the entire war. As Alexander rocketed towards the looming Tholian flagship, the void of space erupted into a maelstrom of destruction. Human and Tholian warships clashed in a titanic battle, energy beams crisscrossing the starscape. 
the humans had struck back hard after learning of the Tholian's vile experiments and Alara's capture. Now it was all-out war. Alexander yanked the controls, sending his stolen Tholian craft into a dizzying spiral as enemy fire streaked past. His augmented reflexes and the ship's advanced inertial dampers kept him conscious and on course as he dodged through the chaos. A human frigate exploded in a blinding flash off his port side. Alexander gritted his teeth and gunned the engine, Izar's flagship growing larger in his sights. He had to get aboard, had to save Ilara, had to end this. With a bone-rattling impact, Alexander's ship slammed into the flagship's docking bay. Alarms wailed as he vaulted from the cockpit, plasma rifle in hand. A squad of elite Tholian guards surged forward to meet him, their wrist-mounted plasma casters spitting deadly bolts. Alexander dove into cover behind a damaged shuttle, the superheated plasma searing the metal inches from his face. Popping up, he unleashed a barrage of return fire, downing two guards in a spray of green ichor, but then his finger froze on the trigger. There, among the Tholian guards, stood a familiar face. Zain Malik, his eyes blank and cold, leveled his weapon at Alexander. Zain, Alexander shouted over the din of battle. It's me. Snap out of it. But there was no recognition in those eyes. The Tholians had broken him, twisted his mind. With a snarl, Zain opened fire. Alexander rolled desperately to avoid the salvo, his heart wrenching. Zain had risked everything to help him, to help the human cause. And this was his reward. Stealing himself, Alexander charged forward, zigzagging through the plasma bolts. He slammed into Zayn with bone-crushing force, sending them both tumbling to the deck. They grappled furiously, augmented muscles straining against each other. With a brutal twist, Alexander wrenched Zayn's gun arm back until it snapped. Zayn howled in pain but kept fighting, his free hand scrabbling for Alexander's throat. I'm sorry, Alexander whispered. Then he smashed his forehead into Zayn's face, shattering his nose. Zayn went limp. Staggering to his feet, Alexander retrieved his rifle and charged deeper into the ship, leaving the bloody skirmish behind. He had to find the bridge. Find Ilara. The corridors of the flagship were a labyrinth of flashing emergency lights and blaring klaxons as the space battle raged outside. Alexander bulled his way through, a one-man army, until he finally kicked down the doors to the bridge. The scene before him froze his blood. Elara, his Elara, strapped to an operating table, wires and tubes snaking into her skull, and looming over her, Commander Izar himself, flanked by a team of grim-faced Tholian scientists. You're just in time, Murray, Izar sneered, to witness the birth of a new era. Dr. Voss's genius will give rise to a new breed of Tholian warrior, an unstoppable army that will grind humanity to dust. Your mind probe isn't digging anything out of her head except a plasma bolt, you son of a bitch, Alexander snarled. He raised his rifle. But faster than thought, Izar seized Ilara, hauling her up as a living shield. Ah, ha, 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 he hissed. You might get me, but you'll kill her too. Drop the gun. Alexander hesitated. Ilara's eyes met his, wide with fear and pain. The flagship shuddered as human weapons pounded its shields, consoles sparked and exploded around them. Thizar's finger tightened on the trigger of the plasma pistol he had jammed under Ilara's chin. Last chance, human? Drop it. Alexander's face twisted in anguish and rage, but slowly he lowered his rifle to the deck. Kick it over! Jaw clenched, Alexander complied. The gun skittered across the deck to rest at Izar's feet. The Tholian commander's mandibles twitched in a vicious smile. Kneel. Shaking with barely contained fury, Alexander dropped to his knees. Izar's scientists scurried back to their terminals, desperate to complete the mind probe before the flagship was torn apart around them. Izar pressed his gun muzzle harder into Ilara's neck, drinking in Alexander's helpless rage. Watch closely, Murray. Watch as I rip the secrets from her mind. Watch as your precious love ushers in your species' destruction. On the viewscreen behind him, human landing craft streaked towards the flagship, disgorging marines into the battered hull. 
The floor bucked and heaved as explosions rocked the ship. But Alexander only had eyes for Ilara. Ilara, who now looked back at him not with fear, but with calm determination. Her fingers moved, almost imperceptibly, typing a code into the mind probe console she had been wired to. Thysar frowned and glanced down at the flickering screens. What are you? He never finished the question. The mind probe screeched an overload warning and detonated in a blinding flash, engulfing Izar and his scientists in a storm of fire and shrapnel. Alexander threw himself forward, tackling Alara off the table a split second before the explosion ripped through the bridge. Alarms shrieked, flames roared, the flagship yawed sickeningly as its command crew burned. You... you reprogrammed the... mind probe? Alexander coughed, shielding Alara from the flames with his body. When did you... have time to... I'm more than just a pretty face, Murray, Alara said wryly. She touched his cheek, her eyes bright with pain and relief. Now let's get the hell out of here. With a snarl of rage, Izar slammed his fist onto the flagship's central console. Red lights flashed and klaxons blared as the self-destruct sequence initiated. If I can't have victory, then you will all burn with me, he roared. The deck bucked beneath Alexander's feet. He lunged at Izar, augmented muscles propelling him through the smoke and flames. They collided with bone-crushing force, tumbling to the floor in a tangle of limbs. Consoles exploded around them, showering the combatants with sparks. Alexander drove his fist into Izar's jaw once, twice, three times, feeling chitin crack under his knuckles. But the Tholian commander gave as good as he got, slamming an elbow into Alexander's ribs, knocking the wind from him. They rolled across the deck, grappling, striking, neither able to gain the upper hand as the ship disintegrated around them. Alexander caught a glimpse of Ilara, still strapped to the table, eyes wide with fear. With a burst of desperate strength, he kicked Izar away and staggered to his feet. The Tholian commander rose to meet him. Mandibles flared, eyes blazing with hate. They circled each other, looking for an opening. Alexander fainted left, then launched a devastating roundhouse kick. His boot connected with Izar's head, sending him flying. The Tholian crashed into a bank of computers, sparks cascading over his carapace. Alexander closed in, ready to end it. But Ilara's voice cut through the chaos. Alexander, stop! He froze, fist raised, and turned to see her stumbling towards him, free of her bonds. Don't do it, she pleaded, laying a hand on his arm. If we want peace, it can't end like this. Peace? Alexander snarled. After everything they've done? More violence won't solve anything, Ilara insisted, holding his gaze. We have to be better than that. Alexander hesitated, torn. Behind Ilara, Izar stirred, reaching for a fallen plasma rifle. Alexander tensed, ready to spring. But Ilara's grip on his arm tightened. Please, she whispered. The deck shuddered violently beneath them a deep groan echoing through the dying ship. Time was running out. With a growl of frustration, Alexander lowered his fist. Izar snatched up the rifle and staggered to his feet, mandibles twisted in a vicious grin. This isn't over, human, he hissed, backing towards the bridge's emergency escape pod. I will hunt you to the ends of the galaxy. You and all your kind will burn. Then he was gone the pod jettisoning away from the crippled flagship. Alexander turned to Ilara, grabbing her hand. We need to go now. They sprinted through the collapsing corridors, dodging falling debris and gouts of flame. The escape pod bay loomed ahead, a single pod still in its berth. Alexander practically threw Ilara into the pod before leaping in himself, slamming the hatch closed behind them. His hands flew over the unfamiliar controls, engaging the launch sequence. The pod blasted free of the flagship, the force of the acceleration slamming them back into their seats. Through the viewport, they watched the Tholian ship convulse in its death throes, explosions ripping through its hull. Then, with a blinding flash, the flagship detonated. The shockwave slammed into their pod, sending it tumbling end over end through the void. Ilara cried out, clinging to Alexander as the pod spun wildly. 
Finally, gradually, the tumbling ceased. They drifted in the silence of space, the remnants of the battle scattered around them. Alexander held Ilara close, both of them breathing hard. I found out why the Tholians are doing this, Ilara said softly, breaking the silence. Their homeworld is dying. They're desperate for a new place to live. Alexander frowned, considering this. So all this death, all this destruction, it's because they're scared. They're lashing out, Ilara nodded. But maybe if they knew we understood, if we offered to help. You think they'd listen? Alexander's voice was skeptical. But there was a note of hope there, too. I think we have to try, Ilara said, determination in her eyes. The cycle of violence has to end somewhere. Alexander was silent for a long moment, staring out at the stars. Then slowly he nodded. OK, he said. OK, we'll try it your way. A smile touched Ilara's lips. She leaned in, resting her head on his shoulder. As they waited for rescue, two tiny figures adrift in the vastness of space. Hours later, a human ship pulled their battered pod into its hangar bay. As the airlock cycled open, Alexander and Alara stumbled out exhausted and battered but alive. The ship's captain hurried to meet them, relief on her face, but her expression turned grim as she delivered her news. We just received word. A Tholian ship picked up an escape pod from the wreckage of the flagship. It was Isa. He's alive. Alexander's jaw clenched. After everything, the Tholian commander had slipped through his fingers. Elara laid a calming hand on his arm, sensing his turmoil. This is just the beginning, she said softly. We have a lot of work ahead of us, building bridges, not burning them. Alexander took a deep breath, forcing down his anger. She was right, the fight was over, but the true struggle, the struggle for understanding, for peace, that was just beginning. As the human ship set a course for home, Alexander and Ilara stood side by side, gazing out at the stars. The road ahead would be long and hard, but for the first time in a long time, there was hope. Hope for a future beyond the bloodshed. And as for Isar, Alexander knew their paths would cross again, and when they did, he would be ready. Ready not for vengeance, but for the harder path, the path of peace. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.